Nanotechnology The rearrangement of atomic matter to produce new structures, materials, and devices on the nanoscale. How can these beyond microscopic particles hold the key to our technological future? How can our entire world, our system of life, evolutionize by the manipulation of a single molecule? Let's take a look at our future in the nanoscale. Invisible to the human eye, nanotechnology is all around us in every facet of human existence. Its nanoparticles exist both in the natural world and artificially in labs, making nanomaterials abundant throughout the Earth. It's been around since the discovery of like atoms and molecules. Most people discounted um, that small scale is like, there's nothing worthwhile there. In our society, we think big. We think big picture. We think, how do we get bigger and bigger and better? Nanotechnology's discovery was caused by advancements in microscopy techniques, which enabled scientists to observe and manipulate materials at the nanoscale. The ability to observe, manipulate, and characterize materials at such tiny scales required advancements in microscopy, instrumentation, and theoretical frameworks, which took time to develop. In the 1950s, Richard Feynman was the first scientist to make an impactful breakthrough in nanotech research. He asked basically like, why can't we write all 24 volumes of the Encyclopedia Britannica on the head of a pen? The theory behind it was that there was not really much going on at that, that lower, like, microscopic kind of scale. No one thought to ask the question, um, how do you go smaller? He's the first person to ask a question like that, so it's like the first real written proof we have of like nanotechnology existing. He gave a lecture in 1959 um, called There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom. It's the closest thing we have in any history to what nanotech is. In 1974, Japanese scientist Norio Tanguchi was the first to use and define the term nanotechnology. Scientists like Fenman and Taniguchi began to explore and manipulate materials at the nanoscale, typically defined as dimensions on the order of a few nanometers to hundreds of nanometers. Nanomaterials are used in electronics, cosmetics, textiles, and more, improving performance and functionality. Interdisciplinary collaboration among researchers in fields such as physics, chemistry, and materials science led to the synthesis and characterization of nanomaterials with unique properties. Nanotechnology continues to drive innovation across various fields, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It enables scientists and engineers to explore new phenomena, develop cutting edge technologies, and address complex challenges. Nanotechnology is being used in a number of ways in today's society. From environmental aspects to solar panels to water purification, advances in medical and technology. In the age of technological innovation, energy efficiency is essential to how we live today. With energy, nanotech is furthering the development of alternative energy sources. In the UK, bus operators have been using a nanofuel additive for close to a decade. Engineers mix a tiny amount of the additive with diesel fuel, then nanoparticles help the fuel burn more cleanly and efficiently. Nanotech is also already helping increase the energy efficiency of products. 
Nanometers are used in solar cells, batteries, and catalysts to improve efficiency and sustainability. Nanotechnology has revolutionized product design and manufacturing by enabling the development of materials with unique properties, such as strength, conductivity, and flexibility. These materials find applications in aerospace, automotive, and construction industries. On the medical side, nanotech can help medical tools and procedures be more personalized, portable, cheaper, safer, and easier to administer. One of the ways that nanotechnology is going to vastly improve the medical field is through impressive improvements in our diagnostic testing. Diagnostic testing and imaging can be improved by arranging nanoparticles to detect and attach themselves to specific proteins or diseased cells. This elevates our ability to detect the first signs of disease and diagnose genetic predispositions earlier and more efficiently. Nanotechnology also provides us with a new revolutionizing imaging techniques. One example, as mentioned before, is biosensors, which can be used to detect diseases before they even come about or develop in a person's body. This consists of plentiful data and atomic force on a microscopic level that lets you go to a subatomic level. This allows medical doctors to view abnormalities at a level that has never before been seen and resolutions that are new to the industry. In cancer therapy, we can target only cancer cells without harming any sort of cells in a human's body. Early disease prevention and monitoring of patients helps to improve lifespan across various fields. Clean water is essential to various different functions in our daily lives. From personal hygiene to depolluting the environment, nanotechnology will provide considerable help in advancing those areas of life. In regards to the environment, we have one of the most important aspects that nanotechnology offers, which is water purification. As a society, we currently face a lack of clean water that we can use to drink, that we can use for any daily processes that we need. Nanotech can provide a low cost way to detect lead in water while also cleaning water pollutants. With this, there are nanoparticles and nanomaterials like nanofibers, which are essentially extremely, extremely small, tiny fibers, which are used in our filtration systems. These membranes that are in the nanofibers allow different bacteria to be absorbed. This allows our water to become more clean. Materials such as heavy metals, organic pollutants, and pathogens that contaminate our systems and cause there to be a spread of bacteria and viruses all across the world can now be cleansed using these nanofibers, these nanoparticles that cleanse our water and allow the water to be renewed. Of course, this helps with the health of the water, but also really just avoiding those risk factors. With technology as society's backbone, it is important to continuously improve our technological advances from year to year. However, technology is an expensive and intellectually complex industry to upkeep. The emergence of nanotechnology will provide us with a more advanced and cost-efficient resource when innovating and inventing new technologies. In today's day and age, technology has been pretty good, but nanotechnology can impact it a lot more. 
Nanotechnology affects tech and professional fields in a very positive way. It makes things faster, smaller, and more portable while also holding larger amounts of information. In electronics, nanotechnology can be used to improve speed and power. A great example of this would be memory chips for phones. Like I said, they are smaller, they actually weigh less, but they hold much larger amounts of information. Another example would be nanoparticle-based copper suspensions. A suspension in chemistry is when solid particles are dropped into a liquid solution, but they do not dissolve into the liquid. Nanocopper suspensions allow for continuous releases of the solid particles into the solution. They're safer, cheaper, and more reliable than previous lead-based suspensions, and those are used to fuse electronics. Nanotechnology can revolutionize many technologies of today's day and age. We're able to not only enhance that technology, but make everything safer. Nanotech is brilliant at detecting issues along with avoiding them. Nanotechnology has made its way around the world across all fields. Throughout the world, there are many issues such as climate change that have been occurring. We have pollution. We have waters that are contaminated and air that is contaminated. It can create a cleaner and safer environment for the world. Nanotechnology has allowed us to have a great opportunity to help others and spread medicines and modern technology to underdeveloped countries. Throughout the world, there are many issues with um, natural disasters and people are left months, maybe weeks, without any sort of access to electricity. Build houses or cars or any other sort of vehicles. We can create batteries that can be used during these natural disasters to ensure that nobody is left without electricity while their home might be being maintained. It can ensure that patients don't have any issues during surgeries. Europe is at the forefront of research on nanocomposites, superhydrophobic coatings, and nanofibers for applications ranging from aerospace to construction. Australia is also investing in nanoformulations for crop protection and precision agriculture technologies to optimize resource utilization. We are able to help so many underdeveloped countries while also continuing to enhance technologies and continue to protect the environment in so many ways. Hey AI. How will the use of nanotechnology change the way people live or alter the systematic ways our world functions? Nanotechnology will serve to revolutionize various areas of life, including industry, health, environment, and tech. However, it can also raise certain social concerns such as unforeseen consequences and misuse for malice. While much of its power is still yet to be uncovered, it is beneficial to continue researching further into the depths of nanotechnology and its overall practicality and application to real-world events. The widespread adoption of nanotechnology currently faces various challenges. The only downside for nanotechnology that I would say is that it would not have a ne negative impact on people, but it will be hard to adjust to. There will continue to be a disparity among socioeconomic classes. It's really expensive. Nanotechnology research is definitely not something that's cheap or achievable. Government funding and support, along with international collaboration, have played crucial roles in promoting nanotechnology research and driving innovation in this rapidly evolving field. We can expect in the short term of about 10 to 15 years an increase for accessibility for certain groups and industries that can afford the technology. 
But of course it raises questions, things like, how do we get there? How do we scale down that far? Do you start at the at atomic level and then get bigger toward the nanotechnology scale? Or do you go huge and then get smaller and smaller and smaller until you get closer? In the long term, we can expect nanotechnology to be something that is implicated in the daily lives across society. We're able to better protect the environment, improve our medicine, and also consume less energy while doing more. Nanotechnology is the cornerstone to a whole new world for society. As we continue to research, we can continue to apply and to develop these procedures in any way possible and any way imaginable, changing the way society continues to go about life. Nanotechnology can revolutionize every aspect of society.